Social engineering is hard at work, dividing us by race, culture, gender, how we look, economics, our abilities or lack thereof, our status, political viewpoints, and anything else they can conjure up. This engineering fuels the hate, the violence, the wars, bashing one another and more, and that keeps us most definitely divided and from living a life in harmony and in peace with each other. Social media posts across the spectrum have become so nasty in some sectors that good people turn away so as to avoid being severely bullied. And what is equally sad is there is a plethora of viewpoints on any subject that are certainly worth a considered ponder. There is a difference between voicing an opinion, however, on any subject matter and attacking the person while not speaking to the issue. And it's so easy to get sucked into the vortex of bashing when everyone else is doing it. It almost becomes a contest of wit rather than attending to the issue at hand. Using cheap, lazy tactics to make fun of people's looks or their abilities rather than the issues is just a shameless form of expression. Healthy and respectful dialogue about any matter will always reveal hidden facts that help everyone to understand a little better and to open the doors to respectful interaction, growth, and understanding. This is what happens when anonymity has gone wild. And yet, anonymity is important when used as it should be. Too often, we act surprised by what's been the common practice in a close relationship with the use of nasty comments. Or we become indignant at an opinion we've solicited when we don't like the answer. However, we must take personal responsibility for our part in anything and in any relationship. We need to create our own healthy boundaries and know when and how to use them. There are plenty of healthy ways to unleash our disdain over an issue that deserves it, that will serve us and won't escalate or cement a hostile way for the offender from doing it again with somebody else. Being nasty in return does nothing to encourage dialogue or to help the other person understand. It just ups the ante of hate speak. There is no need for passive aggressive comments, nasty quips, or outright mean references to the person's physical appearance either. It simply serves no purpose in either creating an aha moment for the offender or feeling better about the experience ourselves. And taking the high road doesn't mean not standing up for ourselves when attacked either. It's all in how we respond with our healthy boundaries in place. And as oh so tempting as it is, smart assed reactions are only momentarily satisfying and far too often escalate the issue to cement the nasty attitude for the next time rather than help change the person's mind. If we are truly seeking to make a better world and be united, even with our varying viewpoints, then it would most assuredly include how we relate to each other. And my friends, it simply starts with us. We can be friends with differences. It just requires the will and the action. Are you with me?